Hi guys and welcome to Excel VBA Microsoft Standard Calculator Style. And let me show you how this works. So I've just selected scientific program, date calculation, and so on. And I can also get rid of this menu. So I click there. And in here we have the history. There's no history yet and check out the memory there's nothing saved in the memory yet and here we have the memory although it's not saved and in here this is the calculator itself so let's assume we want to say 78 plus 23 point whatever there we go that is it right there okay it's displayed up here and right here that's where we have have it stored in the memory area before it is saved and you can continue you can even clear the the memory here there we go all gone and clear all of these so what i am going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into excel development environment and we put one of these beautiful and advanced calculator together so let's do that now guys so i'm going to exit out and let's start a new project entirely i'm going to click on new select new and first thing first we'll go straight into the developer if you don't have the developer on your system all you need to do is to go straight to file select options and right here inside the option you select customize ribbon in the customize ribbon you need co popular commands in the popular command you should be able to see your developer there all you just need to do is to make sure it's checked click on ok and now that that is sorted you should be able to see the developer menu right up there click on the developer menu and right here to your left you should be able to see the visual basic environment or you can always press alt f11 click on that once you click on that this environment is displayed go to insert the menu insert select the menu insert select user form once the user form is selected you now want to define the size of your user form i'm going to make the height approximately 494 Let's come here, look at the height, 494, and the width, let's make the width about 500 plus 520, there we go. Now, I'm going to add some buttons first before I do any other thing. Make sure the form is selected and you should be able to see this toolbox if the toolbox is not there that is the toolbox click on the toolbox you now want this button click on that very button and draw it that much okay i think that size is all right so i'm now going to let's change the font of this one because i'm going to copy it across so i'm going to go for area something area narrow right down here because that looks a little bit sharper there we go and I'm going to leave it as very narrow bold and change the size to about 14 there we go okay let's get rid of the content inside the caption that's the caption right there get rid of that I'm now going to copy that across I need about 4 by 6 so hold on to your control click and drag we have 2 now we have 4 there now we need let's move this up a little bit yeah we have 8 there we go there and 2 rows more there we go so that is fine so that is four by six okay that is fine now that that is taken care of let's take care of the easy ones first in here in the description i'm going to enter one 
I went to two in here. Okay, select the button, go to the caption, enter whatever you want to enter. The next one is three. And in here, I'm going to enter the plus sign. And up here, I'm going to enter subtract. That would be six in here. Five. And we have four. And here that would be seven. Eight. Then we have nine. Okay, and here we use this multiplication. That's how it is in the Microsoft edition. Okay, right underneath here that would be zero. And here I'm going to enter full stop there. The full stop is not that visible so I'm going to increase the font size so that you guys can see that a little bit more. Let's make it about maybe 30. Yeah, that's fine. And here, let's enter the equal sign here. And we also change the background color of that very button according to how Microsoft One looks like. It might not be exact same color, but at least let me just change something on it. Let's come up here and see. Maybe that, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now that that is done, the next thing we want to do now, we need to take care of the following. And that is up here. That should be that one is simple. So let's enter the percentage in there. Okay, that's fine. And here that will be clear entry. This will be just clear. And the other ones are a little bit tricky, and here as well. So I'm going to have to open up the Word document and right here I'm going to go to insert inside a symbol. I need a following. This is the symbol for the backspace. I'm going to need that insert. I'm going to need a symbol for the, okay, that's for the recycle. I need this symbol as well. For the square, I'm going to need this. And I need this. And all of these are from some are, some of them are from wingings and the other one are from winging too okay so let's see all right and i'm now going to copy close that let's copy this come right here select this very button there and i'll paste that there So unfortunately we can't paste it so what I'm going to do is first of all paste it in here then I'll copy it from here that is it right there I'm now going to copy it from here onto the button I don't know why it's like that but that, it does work let's go back in there because that cell is still selected so come right in here and let's paste it in here there we go. It's right there, but the font is different. So I have to change the font to wing and select the font and come right in here and change that to wingings. I think it's this. There we go. So that is in. The next one is the division. Let's grab hold of the division. And that is it right there. Copy that. And paste that right in here. Division that one is cleared all right that is good so we now need to take care of this one i'm going to enter one forward slash and there that's how i'm going to define that the other one is going to be x exponential 2 that's how i'm going to def design that as well you can you guys can find a way around that that's fine just look at the Microsoft one and you should be able to do something with it.
there we go that is all the design of my button apart from this one that is here I have it right here the plus minus copy that and paste that in onto the caption there we go that is all done now for the buttons now the next thing is I'm now going to add a list box so let's place one list box here and this very list box we are, I'm going to carry out some changes on it now the height about 3 let's say about 320 we can always change that now the width okay the width is about right okay make sure it's still selected now the appearance the border border style I'm going to make that single let's see how the single look like okay that is fine and the color I'm going to select the color of this back in there the color of the form this is the forms color grab hold of that make sure this is selected and paste it in there the background color there we go and the background color for the border as well the same color there so it's now more or less invisible okay that's fine now one more thing here I'm going to add a label grab hold of a label just dump it in here that very label would be for the recycle bin let's grab hold of this recycle bin I have in here copy that and I'm going to paste that right inside the caption there we go and at the the, the font I need to change the font to I think it's winging to right now let's change the size of that font to something much more readable let's say about 30 yeah that's fine and I'm gonna bring that right here there we go I'm using label because a label also have also has a click event all right that's fine now the next thing that I want to do now is I'm going to add some memories here so grab hold of a label one label here and that label I'm going to call that history and let's increase the font size increase the font size to 14 bold there and I'll copy that across anyway so copy let's paste one here this one is going to be known as memory that's nice okay so the name for these two components that I've just added so I'm going to just call that memory lane and I can call this one maybe it's the other one will be history so that will be LBL history that's fine this is going to be called LBL memory lane that's all right LBL memory all right I have memory there now underneath memory let's create the one I'm going to refer to as memory memory lane or memory line something like that let's copy this paste it underneath here and that is going to be LBL memory yeah that's a memory lane yep that's fine and in here I'm just going to draw a line on it maybe yep something like that right and I uh, will change the color let's come in here the font color let's change it to something bluish okay and we have to copy that as well 
so that would be for my memory memory lane let's put an E there there I'm now going to copy that across and this one is going to be known as history lane okay let's say LBL LBL history history lane okay right underneath I'm going to have what I've called no history so right underneath here so copy this just paste this right here drag it along and this one will be known as LBL no history no history if you intend to work on it I would advise you to follow the naming convention that I'm using or if you can just watch it and do it your own way that's fine so let's see if I can add something in there okay that's fine now get rid of that but whatever I add in there I want it that should just be regular not bold all right that's that's fine okay now up here we need let's copy this right up here that is going to be called calculate we just put calc according to how it was done in Microsoft calc in there but that has to be bold make that bold right um, beside it that will just be something to display but in there I'm gonna add standard there we go so this one should actually be down here and this should be calculator that is fine and I'm going to copy this now let's copy this again I want to reduce the font size to 4 but then let's enter some lines in there and let's come right here where it says font reduce it to 4 and I also want it to let's get make sure it is you see where it's wrap say true let it wrap I want it to be 3 should be three lines in there so add more lines and let's see yeah okay let's make that bold we may have to delete if I dare make it bold so that is much busy okay that's fine okay we just need to delete just one all right so that is going to be here we will use that to to display and open up our menu so that is taken care of now we need two of those really one of them is going to be show and the other one will be hide so i'm going to call this one lbl show very good copy hold on to the control click and drag that's the second one this one is going to be LBL hide there we have two in there so LBL hide and LBL show will be together there we go all right hide is right on top now that that is taken care of let's select all of this we need to move some of this down a little bit more so when I run it, this is how it's going to look like for now. So that is fine, looking good. And I'll need two labels here. One here. And copy, and there will be another one right on top. And both of them will be aligned right. And this very one on top, let's start with that first. I'm going to 
deleted text content on it. The file, the font size, I'm going to make that about 12. And change the name to LBL Show Input. LBL Show Input. There we go. That is a label. Okay, so don't mix that up. There's another label right underneath that will display everything. The other label underneath, I'm going to call that LBL display. Get rid of that, and the text content will be L, the variable name will be LBL display. The font size, I'm going to change the font size of that to. 30 yeah 30 bold there all right we are almost there and just one more thing left now and what is left for us now is just to add a list box there I'm gonna copy this very list box but let's give them a name this this list box to be for the history so I can just call that LBL is uh, LST history there's a lot of design if you want to do the Microsoft side hold on to the control click and drag so this one is gonna be here and let's bring it right here just drag it that much and take it up as well so this is just for the standard calculator and in here I'm gonna call that LB um, LST list there we go that's it done now each of those buttons I'm gonna give them a name so I'm gonna start with the numeric button and you guys can take it from there so the first one I'm going to call is CMB 7 that's button command button 7 this one will be command button 8 command button 9 command button 4 command button 5 command button 6 command button 1 command button 2 command button 3 command button 0 and we have the decimal command button decimal so this one is going to be command button equals and so on so I'm gonna speed that up okay guys all of the button now have their own respective name so this one is percent CE command button CE command button C command button backspace command button one divide command button square command button squared number divide multiplication subtract addition and this one is equals decimal and PM so all done oh this one has no name so I'm going to change that to LBL resets there we go yeah they all seems to have their names now now these two labels there history lane and the memory lane i'm going to select both of them now let's do them yeah select both of them and um, where we have i think is border style or no back style i'm going to make that transparent so in that case i should be able to just move it up nearer to the other ones okay all right so that is fine now let's start work with some coding double click on the form itself 
now what we want to do is you see the form we want to change the event to instead of user form click I'm going to change the click event to activate when the form activate I want the following to happen so I'm going to first of all start by saying LST list dot visible that is going to be equals false okay and then I'm going to also hide let's copy this I want to hide the following as well LBL hide the one right underneath the button underneath the calculator sign hide then the other one LBL show I want that one to be true good now LBL list I want the following inside it dot add item and the first item that I want in there is going to be standard standard button there we go so I'm going to repeat the same thing and so on this is just going to be list box that we have the following that I'm going to enter in there and this is going to be program or programmer then we have date calculates calculation date calculation is called and I'm also going to enter just an ordinary empty space in here right so that is fine so copy and I'm going to change that around there and this one is going to be currency and here we change that to volume then length these are different calculators that you get inside the Microsoft standard version then we have width and mass down here that will be temperature energy area area calculation and finally that will be about the system so I'm just gonna put about there I'm gonna get rid of this there and also right in there I'm gonna need LBL no history to display the following the caption I want you to display the following there isn't there is no history then the memory LBL memory memory lane I call that dot visible that will be equals false there so in form load these are the following that will be activated so run that so you see nothing right now but you see this what I want to do is when I click on this hide that and display the content that we have in here so let's do that double click on which one is this LBL hide double click on that 
right inside LBL height list box that visible that will be false there then show that will become true there we go and hide LBL hide will become false as well and then LBL function dot caption that is going to be equals there nothing okay I may have to I think this is the function let's see the function here yeah, that is the function okay now now that this is done let's take care of show show is right underneath here let's see if we can go back in the code and see if we can bring code alive here show lbl show there we go that is the lbl show the lbl show is right underneath this one Okay, this is hide that's hide there look at the name the variable name and this is show okay so if I double click on that is the same thing all right so I'm going to return LBL L hide back to his original position there just leave it right there and go back to show LBL show so with the LBL show, I'm going to copy all of this, paste it right in here, and the list will become true. LBL show will become false. and LBL hide will become true and in here I should be just standard there we go alright so there's this few lines of code now that's a form load no form user form activate have a good look at that now have a look good look at LBL hide and LBL show so let's run it and see how that's gonna work now click on this that brings out all of this information for us if you select here we should be able to get any of our selection right here I'm gonna get rid of this as well I just need to stretch it and drag this down a little bit more okay so hide show hide and show all right okay let's exit that and come right down here now run it one more time run show that's good okay so now for this layer for this list box double click on that very list box so in there all I'm just going to do is I'm going to say LBL that will be function it's called function dot caption equals me dot lst list so whatever we have on the list box or whatever is selected on the list box will be displayed so select that there we go look at that so that is that taken care of Okay, when we hide it when we hide it I expect I think I should change that to standard here instead of let's just leave it as standard calculator that's the one we're working with anyway or we can just delete it but it's all right okay that is that taken care of now I know some of you are getting you are actually getting very anxious about the calculator itself 
but we will soon be there so don't be worried now let's go to memory lane inside the memory lane I'm just going to do one thing I'm gonna copy this since I'm there copy that I'm coming here I think that's a memory lane here yeah, double click on memory lane there paste that in there when memory lane is clicked I want this to say as follows there is nothing saved in your memory there and LST history dot clear there so that is for memory now let's take care of the resets that is this button here this label here double click on that and in there let's paste that lbl no history that will become there's no history then we also need the lbl um that is going to be lst okay let's clear the history as well lst clear let's come in here grab hold of this there so the LST history this is this one that is it right there so when we click on this whatever is in here should be cleared so we've taken care of this now let's take care of LBL memory this very one up here double click on that this one and in there let's start by saying LBL that will be history lane dot caption that okay now let's make that visible is number caption I'm gonna copy this that visible equals false then we also need LBL memory lane dot visible that will become true and the history grab hold of this and paste as a memory lane so there is nothing saved in your memory the resets okay okay I've taken care of everything on the memory side so let's take care of everything on the history side right here but let's run it first you see what I'm talking about when I click on this that's what happened so anyone I mistakenly click on this is what's gonna happen Okay, now let's take care of this. Alright, so double click on this very one here. So that's the history. With the history, that would be memory lane. That would be true. No, history lane would be true. Copy that, paste that in here. And we will also need the memory, no history lane there. But in this case, it's going to be the opposite. This will be true, and this the other one will be false. There. So memory lane, the visible is false. History lane, the visible is true. Now, 
we need a3 copy that now I can copy this this one will take care of that I just paste it right there and that is that taken care of now we need the history lane history lane so let's look for LBL history lane this very one underneath here this dotted line double click on that and paste that in there all right so all of that are done now so let's run it and see if we click on this yeah yeah look at that okay so this is now fine all right okay the confusing and the difficult part is all taken care of you can have another good look at the lines of codes okay form activates and the others so let's take it from the top and bring it down those are the confusing bits but make sure each component are named exactly okay so that's fine so let's double click on the numeric button double click on button 7 right up there I'm gonna do as follows before I do any other thing let's say option explicit so which means any of my variable in there is explicit to them option explicit so I'm gonna say dim f num which stands for first number as double there and the next one is going to be dim s num as double and finally dim operator I'll call it operate as string there we go that is our done inside button number seven I'm going to do as follows Okay, this is my button 7. I'm going to double click on it. That is button 7 right there. So I'm going to use the following. If LBL BL display dot caption if that is equals well, let's say 0. There's nothing there anyway. Yeah. Then the following should happen lbl0 dot caption equals nothing that would be nothing so that would be seven else this is going to be equals this lbl display dot caption plus seven now and if so number seven is taken care of run that and there we go that's seven 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 now we can copy that of seven and just use it for the others let's see it should be we should be able to get it indented so that's seven copy that come back in here double click on 8 paste that in there changes to 8 this is more or less computational thinking skills paste for 9 uh, we have 4 you see how simple this one is so that is why I took care of these difficult ones first. We have five paste for five. And we have six paste. Change that to six and six. Then we have one. Change that to one. Next is zero and two. Change that to two. Change 
we have three change that to three and three then let's take care of zero double click on zero paste and just change all of this to zero that is the numeric components all taken care of now let's take care of the plus minus double click on that I'm just going to declare one variable there I'll call it Q and Q that's going to be LDL display dot caption caption dot caption okay and LDL display dot caption is going to be equals minus one multiply by Q okay and I'll say equals let's say minus one multiply that by Q there we go that is plus minus taken care of so whatever we have in there is multiplied by minus one that's what Q is all about there we go all right now let's take care of these arithmetic operators let's start with okay, let's take care of yeah why not let's take care of the division double click on division with the division I'm going to say LBL show input which is this very one here copy that double click on division again LBL show input dot caption that will be equals LBL display dot caption and the division sign so I need that division sign again I'm gonna copy it from here I have it in word and just paste that right there there okay now that that is done we then say F number which is first number that will be equals whatever we have in here is stored inside first number then operator equals there and we also want to clear this that's equals clear that is it for the division I'm going to copy that now come in here double click on multiply paste that in there and change this operator to that however the one in here because of the sign I have that is it that's the sign I have on the multiplication I enter the sign in there but this is the official multiplication sign now the next one subtract paste change that to subtract and subtract here right this subtract seems very very small I'm going to change the size of the font let's make it maybe about 30 to make it more pronounced yeah that's much better okay now let's take care of addition change this to add and change this to add as well there all of this is done and this is not done yet we're gonna come back to this double click on the decimal with a decimal let's use if in string lb l display that should be an s dot caption comma if it has the decimal sign then we say minus 
zero and then lbl display dot caption equals lbl display so grab this lbl display dot caption equals lbl display plus the decimal and and if that should take care of that should take care of the decimal so let's run that and see enter whatever in there let's see oh the decimal come back in here double click on decimal that should be equals not minus enter equals yeah that's fine okay run it again and see yeah that's fine that's good all right decimal is working okay that's good so we have all of this working let's take care of okay let's take care of equals double click on the equals with the equals I'm going to say S number which stands for second number that will be equals LBL display whatever we have in here paste and I'm going to be using select case so let's say first and first let's grab hold of LBL show input and place it right in there as well LBL show input equals LBL show input equals show input whatever we have in there show it and we have empty and let's see if we can add that no that should be num for second number then we use select case operator the case operator if you guys remember that is it right there that's the operator that I use now I want to use it in the selection selection case so if the case that we dealing with is a plus sign then we now want the following LBL display dot caption that will be equals first number plus second number there that's it that's how easy that is now take care of the next one copy all right this is subtract that's subtract multiply and that's multiply division and that is division and that is the select case taken care of however in the case of division let's do one more thing in the case of division supposing the user enter division by zero so let's use an if statement there if second number equals zero then that's impossible so this you have as follows so let's just copy this here paste it right underneath here and here i'm going to enter the following not divide by zero there we go else do this And if and we also need to end select and if and end selection statement All right that is fine now we now need the history to show one or two things for me so I'm gonna come right here underneath here I'm gonna say LBL 
is three we want you to display whatever is entered dot no that sh that should be l b l l l s t is three dot add item and the item you add in is l b l show copy that paste it in here plus speech mark equals then plus again we want the display grab hold of the display paste it here and close that then we also want LBL no history dot caption to be equals clear right that is done now let's run it and see it's multiplied by three equals there that is it right there but I don't want it there I want it to be aligned right clear works so let's select that history and I'm going to align it right let's look for alignment you have something to align it align yeah right and maybe increase the font size as well font then let's say about 10 or whatever okay that's fine now let's run it one more time 5 plus 3 there there we go that's good so Claire is now working here so this all of these components here uh, they're not working yet now let's take care of Claire Claire is easy just grab hold of let's grab hold of this paste that is clear taken care of and we also need to take care to clear the input so let's grab all of this there we go that is clear taken care of now that clear is taken care of we now want to take care of clear entering this very one double click on clear entering inside the clear entering I'm going to declare the following dim F for first number, S for second number, as string. So LBL display is going to have the value of zero in there. So grab hold of that. Has a value of zero. And F equals F number, first number s equals second number second s none and f equals clear s equals clear there that is it so that should take care of clear entry so let's run that and see let's say 52 multiply by 9 we don't want this clear that multiply by 2 there we go so that is the purpose of this clear everything now let's take care of percent double click on the percentage so right inside the percentage let's start by saying if lbl display dot caption equals zero then we want lbl display dot caption to be that else we want as follows second number that will be equals whatever we have inside lbl display dot caption now let's use an if statement you can use select case we have already used that if the operator equals the plus sign then 
the following will be as follows LDL show input dot caption that is equals first number and plus and s number second number divide by 100 there that is that else I'm gonna grab all of that else if if it subtract then this becomes subtract copy paste let's indent it if it's multiply this becomes multiply the multiplication sign here is that and if it's division the same thing will happen changes to division and this becomes division there we go and we then need to say and if and and if we have two if statement there's one here and there's another one here okay that's one ending if twice and finally we now say lbl display dot caption grab all of that underneath here lbl display dot caption equals this there we go so that takes care of my percent so let's see uh, let's say nine there we go look at that that's good now we've done this this and this what about backspace double click on backspace with the backspace let's say LBL display LBL display equals left LBL display command lean LBL display close the bracket minus one okay that is just for you to get rid of the nearest one now if LBL display is empty equals empty close that then LBL display equals zero because it's empty and if there we go so whatever value you enter in there backspace 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 now is zero automatically becomes zero all right that is that done so now let's take care of this very one here double click on that so we say if lbl if it's empty okay i can copy that in here I just finish using it I'm gonna grab all of this copy that back into my one divide by whatever value so I'm going to first of all declare the following dim I and X as double now paste that else the following is going to happen so if the text box is empty this should have this we can also just 
get rid of it. The choice is yours. Else, i equals my value. Anything that we have in there, that will be L B L this. Place that in there. Now, x equals one divided by whatever we have inside i. This is i. Maybe I should change that to q. You don't get confused. Change that to q so that you guys don't get confused. Q and a Q here. So this become a Q. And this is 1. Whatever value you have in here, if you have ten, 1 or if you have 10, 10 divided by 1. That's what's just happened here. Okay? Or 1 divided by 10. Now, we now want LBL show input dot caption that is equals one and divide and we now want to put it in a bracket close the bracket and Q and Open and close a bracket. There. Yes, I think that's correct. Now, LBL display equals nothing. LBL display equals X. There. That should have been equals yeah there that is that done so let's try that out so let's assume we say let's go for five one divided by five there that is correct and if we go for two that is correct and it displays it inside the story show input okay that's fine now let's take care of one two and that's it okay double click on that let's start by declaring the following let's say dim q as double and q is going to be lbl caption grab that q equals as follows whatever we have is stored in there now and I want whatever is inside Q because this is going we squaring it that's going to be Q multiplied by Q and LBL show we want this to show everything is that in here LBL show caption and what is showing is going to be square and open a bracket and close the bracket there we go and that is that. So if I run that now, it's going to square whatever you enter in there. Let's say 9 there equals 81. And that is it. Brilliant. And finally, double click on that. And right here, let's say first number. I'm going to grab hold of it. That's it right here. Grab hold of that. first number equals whatever we have inside LBL display stored inside first number and show input grab all of that 
enter show input in the show input is going to be equals the that is my sign for square you can change it or you can look for the right sign so and open and close a bracket and first number and open and close now close the bracket and in here lbl grab all of that lbl display that will be equals the square function itself first number there and that is all the rest to it I've just finished creating Microsoft Style Standard Calculator and that is it guys it is a challenge I know some of you are saying I create too many calculators but this is a huge challenge as you can see now let's try this out 5 times square oh we have an error let's check that out okay let's try this out run so let's check it out let's assume we say 25 multiply by 4 squared there we go look at that there try that again 5 plus 9 squared yeah that is correct okay I'm gonna try that again I think it's meant to be 9 squared that would be th 3 that is correct okay let's clear it I think uh, we have 8 squared very good that is correct as well and we need to reduce this font that seems to be too large okay clear and let's say 2 squared clear let's go for 9 squared yep so guys with that I'm gonna call it the end of this beautiful system I suppose you guys enjoyed and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now bye guys